What's up guys, Pit Man, Matt Morrow, Carolina Varsity. Once again, going through our uh, top five player listings for the Charlotte Conference's best to last. Uh, this time we're gonna take a look at the wide receivers. And uh, once again, this be advised as a preseason list. And you know, we're gonna be doing it once again in the mid season, which is right, um, right at conference play when that starts. And um, of course there'll be an end of season edition as well. If you don't make the list, um, reach out to me on Twitter if you feel like you should have at PetmanCV P-E-P-M-A-N-C-V and uh, let us know why you should make it uh, we'll reach out to your coach if he agrees uh, we'll put you on the uh, underrated players list um, players to watch um, in the first part of the season alright with uh, no further ado let's jump in at number 5 uh, this kid uh, dynamic with the football Coffrey Brown at a West Mech and um you know, I, from my understanding, it's like they could, they're going to move him around some. He could play some running back. Um, he could play in the slot. Uh, he might even play outside, kick return. Um, you know, you would put him on the definition of athlete, but we don't have athletes in our top five. So, you know, he, you know, really impressed me at receiver. So I put him at receiver here at number five, but he could be all over the field. And, um, you know, he's the brother of De'Ami Brown and, um, you know, both of those guys are probably the, the fastest kids in the state at um, those receiver positions. And, um, you know, he's being highly recruited. And, um, you know, it, it's like like I said um, in a previous video about um, Favar's Crouch, uh, the Brown brothers are something special to behold. You don't see this kind of talent all the time, so you got to appreciate it. Get out to West Mech, uh, watch these guys uh, play football because um, it, it's something to see. And he's a... Uh, special talent with lightning speed uh, it's awesome uh number four on the list is jared garner at uh, hickory ridge uh jared uh, recently committed to duke congratulations uh, to him on that i met with him over the summer um you know very respectful well-spoken young man uh who's a late bloomer uh his coach jason sidell recruited him from the halls and um did a great job in uh, teaching him the game and you know he he's going to be someone that's just starting to realize how good he can be. And uh, Duke really got uh, someone that I think is just going to get better and better and better. Uh, you look at him on film, um, he, he's a really tall kid that can go get the football, yet he can run past you and run away from you at the same time, which is why he was such a um, high-level recruit. And, um, you know, he's still young, he's still learning. And, um, you know, for Hickory Ridge, he, he's going to be someone that um, – the Charlotte uh, fans really get to know with them being in uh, the Southwestern Conference now and playing a lot of the uh, well-known schools uh, this season who get ready to hear that name um, a lot more. Uh, number three is Elijah Bowick, a uh, receiver at Myers Park. Um, you know, I see, saw him a couple times in games uh, last season, and uh, he's gotten even better, you know, in the preseason um, and over the summer. Um, you know, he's being recruited by so many uh, D1 schools, um, you know, kind of, he, he's got the ideal size, um, you know, over six foot, probably six, two, six, three, um, but he can really make you miss, you know, you know, Coach Chad, we like to use him on some of those screen passes and, um, you know, get him in one-on-one -on -one situations and he can either make you miss or if you're a smaller corner, you know, he can just kind of. A stiff arm you or run you over and continue on down the field dangerous uh down in the uh, red zone on the fade pass um jump ball situations uh, nine times out of ten he's gonna come down with it um you know well-spoken young man talked to him after the sun valley game very humble um hard working and um you know just a, a pleasure to talk to and um you know wherever he goes um he's going to uh be an asset to a program and he's only a junior so we've got another year uh to enjoy how good he can be and um you know coach chadwick told me last year this could be the best player that myers park has ever seen and you know he's proven it right so far he's definitely on that track um you know great great receiver uh number two is nolan gruel from huff and this is a name uh most of you may not know because uh nolan came from uh, Davidson Day with uh, Coach Chad Greer. Um, of course, you know, Coach Greer moved on to uh, Oceanside Academy in uh, South Carolina. And, um, you know, as a result of that, you know, some players decided to, um, 
Lee Davidson Day, and uh, Nolan is now at Huff. Um, but this kid put up insane numbers um, at Davidson Day for receiving. And, um, you know, he's a four-star recruit. And, um, you know, you don't get four stars just by being an average receiver. And, um, you know, you look at his tape, his ability to run routes, um, his hands. Um, you know, he's, he's got good speed that can um, he can run away from you building an open field um he's got the total package and um you know he's going to be doing it now at a higher classification but um you know i don't think that's going to make a difference um you get the football in his hands and you let him uh be great and um that's one thing nolan Gruel can do uh for sure um number one on the list not a real secret like it was with Kravars crouch it's deami brown at west mech um you know talk to him a couple times in the past, um, he's a, a very nice, uh, well-spoken young man like most of these guys are. Um, but what he does with the football in his hands is just amazing. Um, <laughs> when I saw him in the um, game against Audrey Kill last year, um, you know, he was just flat running by people like, like it was Madden or something. Like, you know, you used to be a kid, you have 99 speed. <laughs> Oh, man, and a lot of, you know, younger people get that reference. But, you know, you can't just man cover this guy. You're going to have to put um, a safety over him um, and, you know, have to um, account for him everywhere he is on the field. Um, you know, he could run some wildcat quarterback. Uh, you know, you can do the reverses, all the trick plays with him. And you put him back there deep in the kick return game. Of course, you, you can't kick to him or, you know, you're risking six points every time. Um, you know, he's committed to North Carolina. And uh, North Carolina got a dynamic playmaker um, that, that can, you know, just flat out go uh, with the football. And um, it's a pleasure to watch him play. Um, and, you know, he'll be a senior. So enjoy this last year of him. Uh, but... You know, he's definitely deserving to be number one on this list. So that's the top five receivers for the Charlotte Conference's best to last. Uh, let me know what you think, what your top five is. I'd love to hear it. And I appreciate the support of CarolinaVarsity.com. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, good luck this season.